People writing messages on signs so they can try and get on TV is part of every darts event. But what happens when your sign doesn't get the response that you hoped? So, Alan, you had a joke sign at the darts that backfired. Yeah, I was pulling the sickie from work and I was feeling brave after a few pints, so I decided to put it on a sign. People started sharing it about the place. Eventually your boss got wind of it. Yeah. I had overplayed it a bit and said I might not make it. Problem is, my boss is really nice and she was properly concerned for me. It turns out she'd organised a fundraiser for me, set up a scholarship in my name and renamed the building after me. <sighs> I haven't been to work since. I can't face the shame of it and she still has me on full pay. Next, I'm meeting the man who was once known as the best in the business at making signs. That's where the magic happens. Some of my work. That was a good one. I did that on the train. These, some of the people I've met as well. Pierce Morgan. Oh, Roy Cropper. You watch Corrie? No. I love Roy. So, Ken, tell us your story. I used to go to the darts quite a lot. I was always getting on TV because of my funny signs. People would ask my autograph. They even pay me a few quid to write them a sign. Became quite a celebrity at the events. So, what happened? I was riding high until it all came tumbling down. One night, I posed for a photo with a group of lads who asked me to hold a sign. I didn't even think to read it. The sign read, darts isn't a real sport. The reaction was vicious. I was getting booed at all the events. People were throwing beer over me. Stephen Fry called me a on Twitter. Sometimes, you don't even been to the top of the mountain until you've been thrown back down the other side. Me and Ken was a real eye-opener, but I was only really scratching the surface of the murky world of dart signage. So, Jack, tell us your story. Uh, my name's not Jack, it's Chris. I I'm the cameraman who picks up the people in the crowd to show on TV. I used to have a really high standard of what I'd show, and I started to get offers from people to show their signs. At first I turned them down, I swear. The office kept going up and up. I'm talking hundreds here. Eventually I gave in. I'd show one or two a night. Things began to escalate. I stopped caring about what I was showing. As long as you paid the piper, you'd call the tune. I was out of control. I was showing any old shit. The thing has got really bad one night. I showed a guy with a sign saying Bazinga. Oh my God, that's disgusting. That was a disgrace to darts. I've let Jim Bowen down. I've let you all down. <laughs> what started off as a bit of fun for people at the darts has developed into a black market with some very shady practices. 